Uh, well, it's between the Toxic Avengers and the Dead Ring of Rosie. That's right. It's going to be a brutal match because these girls get absolutely smashed up, beat up, taken out. Woo! Exactly. So we are going to talk to the Vice President and the lead founder tonight. And we're also going to find out just what the audience thinks of the spot. Victorian Roller Derby. That's right. Hope you guys enjoy the segment. Got up again. Stay pushed for previously red back as a red. Victorian Roller Derby, I'm talking to Tonka about, well, the sport itself. So how did you get involved? Uh, the sport started up here in Victoria last February and I got involved around September. I'm now the Vice President and uh, Coach and tonight I'm an official. I'll be a skater for the next bout, so yeah. <laughs> it looks like a pretty violent sport. Have you had many injuries from it? Uh, we have a few. We do everything that we can to uh, train to fall correctly and not hurt ourselves and be fit enough to not hurt ourselves but obviously yeah um, you're not meant to be on eight wheels knocking people out of the way so yeah we have a few injuries. Well I heard you're you're on a bit of a dodgy ankle hold. I am on a dodgy ankle I'm getting I'm getting old but I dislocated my shoulder and ripped my rotor cuff and now it's a sprained ankle but it's what happens when you get old. Well what's the worst injury you've ever not necessarily had yourself what's the worst injury you've ever caused? <laughs> I don't cause injuries, I just receive them. Just receive them? I'm, um, oh. I'm not necessarily the best derby skater purely because I am so worried about everybody else and the first rule is to take care of yourself and everything else will fall in place. But even when I'm out here refing, I'm asking the girls if they're okay. It's okay darling, get up, you can do this. So yeah, I'm, I'm not that tough. They call me Tonka, but I ain't that tough. What do you reckon we can expect to see out of these two teams tonight? Are they evenly matched? Um, I see a few new faces in the teams tonight, so yeah, I've got no idea about the new kids, but they are pretty evenly matched. Who are you going for tonight? I'm, I'm completely impartial. Yeah. Have to oh, be I've impartial. got to be impartial. Love all my girls. I've got a, quite a lot of the fresh meat skaters who have been training up with us for the past couple of months are out there tonight for their first bout, so I'm going for all the freshies. Do you expect your sport to? kick off and grow exponentially from here? Yeah, absolutely. In America it was started back up in 2001 and they have thousands upon thousands of people who come to their bouts over there. It's the fastest growing female sport in America at the moment. Uh, we've only had one season uh, that we've put on and our last bout we've got a thousand people too. So yeah, it's doing its own thing um, nicely. <laughs> Uh, very quickly, rules of the game. Teams are divided up into blockers and jammers. Each jam, which goes for two minutes, will have four blockers and one jammer from each team. The jammer is the player who does laps around the other team and scores points. And both sides are trying to take out the opposing team's jammer. It's like rugby on roller skates without the ball and with fishnets. Okay guys, so we're joined here with Betty Bamalam. So you're also a co-founder of the Victorian Roller Derby, right? One of the five, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so what made you guys start the Victorian Roller Derby? I actually really like roller skating. I only got into it as an adult and I just wanted to find people my age who skated. And yeah, I was checking out MySpace and saw Roller Derby and saw like a whole range of girls and I was thinking I could do that. And yeah, yeah, that's where I started. And I met a couple of other girls who were also interested as well. Like Hidden Magenta had a team, Toxic Judy had a team. We just pulled together and made a league. So what's the most fearsome move that you can pull on a player here? Probably what's called a can opener. Yeah. And it's basically where you skate into them and then put your shoulder into their chest and send them flying like backwards. Off, yeah, totally yeah, yeah. off balance and stuff. Yeah. What's your favourite move? I like to shoulder block. Yeah. It's my favourite to like get rid like down low and maybe into the ribs and just crack into the ribs. Ooh. What's the what's the worst injury you've had? Oh, I've been pretty lucky aside from some brutal ring crash, I'm pretty lucky with injuries. Really? Like yeah. ring Ring uh, like crash is where like you slide, maybe with stockings on, it just takes all the skin off the side of your leg. That's oh. kind of painful. I was watching you guys in the in the earlier rounds, the first half and stuff, and I think it's really amazing how you're not afraid to take a few hits for your teammates. No, and everything. you got it. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's awesome. You eat it just, be, just so your jammer can get through. If, yeah, if that, that's what you're there for as a blocker. If your jammer's having trouble getting through and you have to take the hit, you will because you want it to get the, like get through, and she'll do the same for you. Yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. It's a strange kind of connection. 
So, as a team, like, as part of your team, what do you guys try to, um, like, in your training and stuff, what are you aiming for? We train pretty hard. At the moment, we're looking at, um, obviously, we've got two teams here, and we're training up a group of fresh meat girls who will be almost like a B division at some point. But really, we'd like to send a team to New Zealand to skate against New Zealand. It's a huge range. If you take a look at the team now, we've got girls who are like, we've got a couple of mums, a couple of married women, girls with different kinds of professions. Yeah. It's a really huge mix. There's no real defined roller girl. It's just like an outlet, I guess, for like, you know, your pent up energy and everything. Absolutely. Well, some girls I think are roller girls in like after hours, and some of them are roller girls all the time. Yeah. Take yeah. my ride, I'm pretty sure she's you, all the time. Are you all the time as well? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I work in a cafe with Nicotina, and we pretty much do it all the all time. I'm just thinking about, oh, just doing that move. Um, who's your biggest foe? Hot Rod and Flea, Felicity Scragwell, I reckon they're the hottest blockers on the green team and I love skating against them, they're yeah. fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you reckon you guys can win tonight? I don't know, we're getting pretty pounded it's in pretty the scores, but we've come back from worse, so know, yeah. be interested to see. Second half is always a good one. Rosens take a while to warm up. Um, this is the first match of the season, right? Yeah. So how long does the season go for? We're just doing a best of three. We did a best of three quite recently and then had eight weeks off and then back on for this one, so I think like last season we did like we did six including the three. Like we did a couple of demo games and all that kind of stuff. We did Skate of Origin in Adelaide and this time around it's just the three and then we're gonna break for Christmas. Wow, that's so intense. Like yeah, it's I'm so I'm really loving this so much. So thank you, you so much for talking. <laughs> I know, I'm okay on blades, I can't skate. Come on, I just... we'll teach you. Okay, well I'll come down later maybe. <laughs> thank you so Thanks much, thanks Eddie.